artist Hujette Kaland lives life with passion and beauty. She's the daughter of the first president of Lebanon and made her way from Beirut to Paris, New York, and finally California in pursuit of her artistic vision. But her work shows she has never truly left any one homeland behind. To become myself an artist was the toughest thing to do in Lebanon. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. So, uh, two or three things that we could eventually add here a few blacks and here I would like to add one or two. Not much. It was very difficult to establish myself as an artist in Lebanon when they knew that I was the daughter of my father, the wife of my husband, the sister of my brothers, the mother of my children. Everything was impossible to deal with. As soon as I had the freedom of moving. I came to America because I always wanted to come to America because I thought that the artistic expression at that time, what I knew of it, seemed to be freer here than anywhere else in the world. This is a nice piece. It's very ambiguous. Mm -hmm. What's the next step for this piece? Nothing on this, but something on that, like that this will be spitted from here. You mean like another shade of gray? No, not really. We decide. Well, I'm just wondering whether to use paint or just the markers. I don't find it. And these are pretty well done, huh? Mm -hmm. You should stop me from touching. I know, that's why I hung them really high. <laughs> I know you hung them up. When do we have to send them? Monday. But I, what I would like is to have new pieces. You have the gray one over there too, if you want to yeah. give us a drawing to fill in. I never thought I would have a crew like that. They are nice, they are young. They make me feel young with them. It means I have their eye, which is much better than all rotten eyes of my generation. I'm born Lebanese, I became French by marriage, and American by choice. I think it's extremely interesting and enriching to have grown up in uh, another part of the world. Beirut was a lovely city, lovely. It was charming. It was absolutely charming. The colors were sharp, they, were, they looked like candies. The history of the Middle East was made, shaped, while I was growing. My mother was the youngest daughter of a family of bankers. And my father was a Maronite from the mountains. He became the president of the Republic. It wasn't easy, but he had a journey. It was a very political climate. And when I had a birthday party one day and all the table was set for all the kids, seven of them didn't come and their parents never called to say sorry because they were French and they were protesting the fact that my father was fighting for the independence. So these are the memories of my childhood that were quite painful. And you still 
are friends with them, and I married French. Lebanon was fighting for its independence, but I was fighting for my mind. My parents, do you think they appreciated that I was marrying the son of their political enemy? We were all coming from the same bourgeoisie, but his family was pro-French mandate, and my family was pro-Lebanese independence. I never stopped loving my parents, but I wanted to be my own self since I was 13. We are still married. He lives in Lebanon. I live here. We are good friends. I didn't leave for my art because you can do art wherever you are. I left because I wanted a career. I thought that I was strong enough to confront the world with my work. I thought I had wings to fly. And I said goodbye to everybody. For 80 years old, my hands are remarkably good servants. I'm, I'm getting better with age. Julian and Emily, you can come and take it. There is nothing that I wished for that is not happening. And I think that's incredible. Did you see how much we work? Yeah. Yeah? Hello. Let's go and have lunch while it's, while it's still hot.